right, so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to stitch it up, make it a little bit cleaner, a little bit neater, with a little bit of Velcro. Come on in. Also, we need to close up these connectors between the uh, ballast. I'm going to keep calling it a ballast. I don't know exactly what it is for an LED, but for HIDs, it's a ballast. And uh, tighten that up. And after that, I am going to Velcro these guys together neatly. I guess I'll take it under. See, I can do it this way. Just wanted to stay out of the way, keep it out of that fan. Let me try putting that underneath. So I'm reconnecting it underneath the main harness. Alright. And then what I'll do is I'll attach this to the ballast so that way it's also you can maintenance it you can use zip ties too but if you use zip ties anytime you need to do anything you're gonna have to cut the zip tie and then you're gonna have to reattach a new one with this method you can actually just unvelcro then revelcro it's one of the many reasons velcro is an amazing uh, invention yeah all right so I'm just gonna take it there velcro Wrap it around. It's gonna wrap it around a couple times. I'm gonna cut off the excess. It doesn't need to be super long to be secure. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. It'll flop around a little bit, but nothing crazy. If any of you know what that ballast piece is actually called, post it in the comments down below. I'm just going to prop it down underneath here so it doesn't move. You don't really want to smother the top of it because if you look, it's got these holes here, which is no yeah. doubt for uh, cooling. All right, so that side's secure. It's time to move on to the driver's side. Driver's side got this filler neck kind of in the way so I'm gonna have to be a little more creative here you know I kind of don't want it flopping around so I've already pre-attached the velcro on this side I'm gonna just figure out where this goes in real time or where it's gonna go in our installation so tighten down the seal in between it and the light itself I think I'm gonna put it behind Put it behind on that side so it's behind the filler neck so if you need to get that filler out for some reason it's not going to be in your way i think i'm going to connect it under so i'm going to disconnect this again go underneath the main harness just like we did on the other side reconnect the light and then we'll wrap it down here somehow let's pull it out and take a look yeah, you know what? That's what we'll do. We'll just wrap the Velcro from the ballast to the same wiring on the harness side, or actually on the light side. And then afterwards, I'll just tuck it underneath. So this is bigger, so I don't have to clip it. Um, just rest it down here sit on top of the frame rail I don't see anything to attach it to on the frame rail so I'm going to check the range to see how far it can move seems to be pretty harmless distances there we go so sit on the side of the headlight frame what we'll do is we'll check on it in a couple days see if it's moved at all and then check on it again in a month, see if it's moved. If it hasn't, then it's going to be good enough. All right. Yeah. We'll close everything up. Thanks for watching.